All right, we're in Marathon, Florida on the Gulf side today. We just caught our first keeper mangrove. Oh, we're on again. Tighten that drag down. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Keep it. That I is can tell. Nice. Welcome back to Uncharted Florida. We're in the Keys in Marathon. We came out to the Gulf today because it's real windy. We're gonna try spot locking and putting out a chum bag here on one of these shallow reefs and see how we do. When you are in the Florida Keys, there's so many different species of fish to target, but you really owe it to yourself to target mangrove snapper on the Gulf side. They are very easy to fill your cooler and limit out on, like you'll see in this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming exciting videos from this trip, including part two, where we go out a second day and make some key mistakes that keep us from reaching our limit for the day. The first thing you want to look for is what's called live bottom. It looks like this. You probably won't find huge ledges in reef like on the Atlantic side, like this. You just need to see coral heads, rubble, small ledges, cracks, or holes. That's gonna hold life. Once you've found a spot, set up on the upcurrent side of the zone, like this, so your chum and bait can run across the live bottom. Orange represents the live bottom, and the arrows represent the current. This is something different. <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay, careful, it, careful. Is it the green meat one again? Let me get the net out. Oh, oh it's a jack. Yes, sir. Oh, you're yeah. on, you're on. All right. Go, babe, go. Keep it away from the motors. Yep. Do you need the drag tightened? Are you yes. sure you didn't catch all? All right, go, babe. Here, scoot this way. Right? Are you sure you didn't catch all? Good job, babe. Woo, do you want me to get the net? Oh, oh, another jack, yeah. A jack again? This time we didn't really need it. Another Good job. jack. Oh my god. Yeah, you had something. Real, 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 real. Go, go, go. Yeah, stop reeling. No, hold on to the pole. Hold on to the pole. <laughs> there you go. Oh boy. Do you see uh, it? Yeah, come over here. Get the oh my gosh, this is a big one. Ah! What, what is, is it? it? Imagine if it's a kingfish. Help me. Oh my oh, goodness. Good Help me. Help Get the net. Okay. Oh. All right. That's some kind of fish with my Go new check pole. it out. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, you are a tough guy. You'll notice the first few fish we caught weren't mangroves. It takes a snapper about 20 to 30 minutes after you set your chum bag to show up. Now you'll see the smaller snapper show up and very quickly after that, the larger ones will join the chum slick. So we're just tossing shrimp on these little yellowtail hooks here. These work great down here in the Keys. A lot of times the fish school up, there'll be schools of jack, there'll be schools of sea trout, there'll be schools of yellowtail, there'll be schools of mangrove. So you gotta find where the fish are that you're targeting. A lot of times the bigger fish will be at the back of the school, farther away from the boat. I'm on. What? I'm on. You're on, woohoo, daddy! This feels maybe can like I a turn mangrove. Can I do it, can I do it, can I do it? Whoa! What is it? A mangrove? It's a lane. Snapper? Oh, it's so pretty. Lane snapper. A little small. If we can find bigger ones, that'd be great. Oh, there you go. Oh, another mangrove. Really pretty. Look at those colors. Wow. Make sure you bring two to three chum blocks. You'll need it. You'll see here the bigger fish are starting to form a school. All right, 
it. Don't horse it. Just pull it. Just pull. It. Just pull. It. Can I hold it? So I can get the line. Over to me. Over to me. Daddy. Daddy. I can't. I got it. I got it. Oh. Get over here. It's a keeper, dude. Oh my dude, it's gosh. A keeper. Look at that one. That could eat your whole handle. That's Whoa. a keeper. That I is a tell, nice keeper. I can tell because I've really, never caught a fish this big. Like I've never caught a mangrove from? fish this big. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh biggest mangrove. I can't believe. All right, we got triple headers. Am I trying to get a braid? Ah. What is this? Give me a That's a jack. Well, a small one. Oh, you want to let it go? Sure. That's a jack? Alright, so bye, Grace. Bye. Bye, Jack. Oh, here's a mutton snapper. Mutton snapper? Wow. Look at that. I like it. Beautiful. I don't like it. I don't like it. Get the cast way back. That's where the bigger fish are. That's the trick. You got to cast to the back of the school to get these bigger snappers. Oh, that's a good one. Bring it in. All right. That's a uh, mangrove snapper. What size? Just keeper size. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yep. And once you've started chumming in the Gulf. You want to be careful when you release the fish. You don't want your hands in the water too long. Wait, that looks like a mahi hockey. Oh, that's another good one. That looks like a mahi hockey. All right. It looks green. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Is this one a keeper? Oh, yeah. Why? Oh. Hold it up. That's a keeper. Hi. hi. Oh, you're telling me hi. <laughs> and look, a coconut floating by. Ooh, look at that coconut. Oh yeah, good one. Oh. There we go. All Woo. right. <laughs> Not like yours. No. <laughs> good size. Can we imagine? Look at that fish! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! All right, gentle, gentle. That's a good one. That's a good one. Don't yet. Right next to me. Um, How big, Daddy? Ten. ten. It's on ten. Ten to the fork. Ten and to the fork. Is it ten? Uh, we'll, we'll be slicing. Oh, I had something on this whole time. Wait, can you hold this? Can you hold this? Did something follow it up? Yeah. What? A shark? Another. Oh, there we go. Again? Was it the same one? Got something. Oh, it's a little bigger. All right. Is that keeper? We're gonna measure that one. Look at that! It's a big one! Yeah! Great job! Is it the same one? Snapper can be leader shy, so I use 15 pound fluorocarbon tied directly to 12 pound mono with a uni to uni knot. I also use a 4,000 size reel on an 8 to 17 pound rod. Start reeling! There you go! Don't, don't let go of that rod! There you go! Flip, flip it around! There you go! You got it! There you go. Yeah. Alright, you want to see something cool? Yeah. Okay. Alright, these remora suck onto the sharks with this suction cup here. Do you see that? Yeah. So they can suck on and hold on. Here, feel it. So if we caught a remora, what does that mean? Sharks. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what's that? And there. Can you hear that? Yeah. Just going for a walk with my pet. Oh, there he goes. You got one? Ah, get away ah, from the motor. Ah, yeah. Hold in. Okay, get it in. Get it in. Ah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. It's flying everywhere. Put it down, put it down. All right. Great size. Where's that one more? I threw it back in yeah. and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to give us a tutorial on how to hook these to catch all these mangrove and yellowtail. Oh, look at that, a double hook. For bait, we use live shrimp. You'll need five to six dozen. They go quick. Oh, yellowtail. You are the yellowtail queen. But yesterday, I was the only one who caught it. Why? Why? 
Oh, 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 fish oh, on! Oh, Daddy got one! Fish on! Real, 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 real! Get it, B, get it, push up before the shark gets it! Alright, keep remembering! Woo! Whoa, oh, that flew! Oh, <laughs> Holy! Put pliers in and open them up. This is how you get them up. They have fangs and they will bite. Grab this. Oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it. They will bite Whoa. just like a snake. Th those fangs right there. Yow! Ooh, Bet you, you don't want to get your thumb in there. No. That hurts. That does. Oh. Woo! Yeah, tail! Was that a shark? That was a shark. Really? shark. Really? Yeah. Attacking mine? I just caught my very first yellow tail. Good job. Beautiful. What was chasing it? Uh, shark. Oh, did the shark get the tip of the tail? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it shark. Did its tail. Sorry. See? Whoa. Got something? In the right. rainstorm? Real quick, there's the oh, shark. Oh, <laughs> All right. There's the shark again chasing it. All by yourself. Is that a shark? Yeah, it's a shark. Oh, a little, it's there. a little, That's sorry. That's a monster. That's probably a keeper. Let me measure. Here, let's measure. Popped off. I think it's longer than that whole stick. Oh, that's perfect. It's exactly the stick. Yeah. Got the yellow tail. You're the yellow tail queen. Wow, yellow tail master this queen. This definitely not long. They have to be. We ah. just caught a yellow Whoa. tail. Oh, do you want to get the daddy? The mackerel. Mackerel? Woo. What's a mackerel? Oh, those are big. Yep. Everywhere. Did you see it, Daddy? I did. Look at it. Where is it? It might be a ladyfish, actually. Oh. It's a ladyfish. Ladyfish. Get that net, Brady. Oh. That can't. Ladyfish. <laughs> Watch out, Brady. Wow, it's it sprinkling a ton. Closer. Bring it back closer. Yeah, I want it in the trolling motor. Okay, there. Good job, Dada. All right. Good job. Big a lady fish. fish. Oh, gee. Fish. Do we get to keep it? Do we get to keep it? Uh, lady fish aren't real good to eat, so we probably won't keep that. But that is a giant one. Want to measure it? Wow. Sure. Why? Why aren't they good to eat? Look at that lady fish. Wow. 24 overall. Say Whoa. goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, with the big one. This is definitely a big one. Okay, gentle. Bring it in gently. Oh, that is a lane. Perfect cast. Great job on your brand new spinning reel. First time with the spinning reel. All right, let it sit. Let it sit. There you go. Reel it in. All right. There we go. Oh, shark. Baby He's shark. got a shark. Oh, my gosh. Tommy. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's good. It's, it released itself. We didn't want him in the boat. No. <laughs> Baby shark. Hey, good job. A lot of people will leave a spot when the sharks show up. I don't mind them there. It usually means the fish are there. So you just need to get the fish in the boat quick. All right. Let's see. Feel it up. Gentle. Jack. All right, here, I'll, I'll pull it in. We'll, we'll let this one go. Here, I'll pull it in. Now put your rod in the rod holder. All right, yellow tail here. I don't think it's big enough, but we'll check the size. You gotta work your way up to captain one day, right? Mm -hmm. What do you have to do? What? What do you have to do? Nothing. Swab the deck. 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 How do you catch all these? Well, we chum the water, got the right bait, 
And we got these excellent oh, fisher oh. men and women here. Okay. Can you help mama? Sure. Hey, a little rain cloud. Sure. That'll feel Comes nice. The rain. That should feel great. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. A little cool down rainstorm in the middle of the Gulf. That'll cool it's us down. It's been a hot day. But why are we still out here? Just before a large storm, fishing can be especially good. But as soon as the large system moves in like this, usually the bite turns off and you start catching catfish again. I hope this video helps you. If so, please subscribe to the channel as this is how we grow. And thanks for watching.